guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Today on this episode of The Movement, I have a very special guest. You may recognize him from TikTok or Instagram, my trainer, Phil. I'm so excited to have you, Phil. Let us know a little bit about you and I'm and what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, so I'm so happy that we connected, Carrie. And then we're, today we're going to be having an awesome workout together. So I'm a personal trainer. I've been a personal trainer for about 10 years. And what I love doing is helping people get started with working out and, and an introduction into fitness. It's so important. Um, you know, a, a lot of times we overthink our workouts. We get overwhelmed when it comes to moving and exercising. So my goal is to keep it really simple for you guys. It's, it, we're going to have a fun, short workout. It's going to be tough but it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna smile and have a good time together, guys. So that's what I'm here to do, to help you with doing these exercises and these movements. Some of them you might have done before, and we wanna make sure that we're also doing these exercises safely and doing the proper form. So it's not about rushing and doing it really, really quickly. We're gonna be taking our time and going through these movements. So we're gonna have an awesome workout together. Awesome. So just know that before we get into anything, you move at your pace. This is your movement session. This is for you. Whether you're just sitting on the couch and watching us go through this for the first time, just understanding that any movement is good movement and it should be celebrated. And so today, I think we're doing upper body right now, right? That's it. Yeah. I'm Let's so do it. excited. Let's get to it. All right. So First, we're just going to get stretched and kind of loosened up. Dynamic stretching is really important. So what I want you to do is just kind of shake your arms a little bit, shake your legs. If you can, you can kind of just like hop around. If you've got music playing, you can dance around. So just kind of shake it off a little bit. And we're going to get ready here for our workout. So let's go into shoulder rotation. So big circles, and we're going backwards to start. So big circles. And breathing is so important on all of these exercises. So we want to make sure that we're breathing into the nose, exhale through your mouth, and then we'll switch directions. We'll go the other way. So now we'll go forwards, big circles, really nice. All right. So we'll I'm a giant compared to you. It's my camera angle right now. <laughs> oh, really? I can step closer there so you can see me a bit better. That's good. <laughs> And awesome, good. We're gonna go elbows out to the side and we're gonna rotate back and forth. So keep those elbows up high and rotate back and forth. My shoulders are already starting to burn. Yes, mine too. These are a lot harder than they look, but let's keep those elbows up high. We'll do a couple more of these. And the fun part about today's workout too, is you don't need any equipment. So it's all body weight exercises and good. We're gonna do one more upper body stretch here. We're gonna go leaning forward. So think about having good posture. We'll squeeze the shoulders in behind. So just arms out to the side, kind of like you're a bird. It's a reverse fly. So keeping those arms straight, squeeze the shoulders back. Think about keeping your back as straight as you can. You don't wanna be kind of hunched forward. We'll do two more of these. One, two, and awesome, good. Now that we're warmed up, we're gonna go into our exercises. So we have four exercises that we're gonna do. And each exercise is gonna be about one minute. For the first one, it's a standing press. So hands are gonna go out just about shoulder height and we're gonna press forwards, squeeze the shoulders in behind. And you can probably guess already that this is just like doing a push-up. Now, if you're able to get down onto the floor to do your push-ups, that's what I want you to do, but inhale, here, exhale, press those arms out. Thinking about squeezing the back muscles together when you bring those elbows in behind and then press up. And these are pretty tough. These are, these are really challenging also. You're looking great, Carrie, good job. Your form is good. Keep going, I'm gonna go for another 20 seconds here. So exhale, inhale. All right, let's keep it going. I feel like I should just be like this now. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, uh, you, can, you can throw that one in if you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stick to my push-ups here. Good, we'll, <laughs> we'll go for two more. 
Good, and one more, and good job. You're gonna feel that burn right here in these shoulders. Just shake it off, deep breath. All right, now for the next one, we're gonna do hands up in front of your face, and we're gonna do shoulder retraction. So just squeezing the shoulders in behind, and we'll go for it. So a minute of this one is gonna be really challenging, but we're gonna aim for it here. And on these exercises too, just because we're standing, you wanna make sure that your posture is really good, your, your stomach is, uh, your abs are, or your core muscles are engaged. Do you want your feet to be together or hip width? So about hip width apart, just about hip width apart. And you wanna make sure that you're staying balanced. You don't wanna have your knees or legs locked completely straight, but just a slight bend in the knees is perfect. And if you wanna make this one a little bit, we got another 20 seconds, a little bit more challenging. You can even try standing on one leg here. If you wanna do that. I my balance this morning. <laughs> there you go. The other day I could not do it on my video on two weeks ago. I could not balance for the life of me. Really? And we'll switch legs. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. My arms are on fire right now. We got 10 seconds here. Good. Keep going, squeeze those shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one, and good job, shake it off. All right, we're gonna go into front raises now. So again, no dumbbells. If you do have dumbbells, there's nothing wrong with throwing them into the mix, but we're gonna do front raises here. So arms out, you can pretend that you're holding dumbbells. I mean, you can even hold, uh, I don't know, a can, a can of soup. Uh, anything, but let's go for it. We're gonna do these raises here in front and we're gonna go for one minute. Carrie, you're gonna go grab something. Let's go for it. We're gonna, gonna be gonna... drinking some coffee today. Coffee mugs, there you go. But just make sure there's no coffee in them because you're gonna spill it all over you. And good, so, and think about posture on this one too. Shoulders are kind of back. You don't wanna be rounded forward. Let's go. So keep going. Here with these front raises. Excellent job. And nice controlled tempo. The way you're doing it, Carrie, is perfect. Kind of pausing at the top for a second. That's really good. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. Breathing yeah. is so important for this. If you're not breathing, the oxygen, you're not going to, just makes the exercise so much harder if you're not breathing. So it's gonna help a lot. I know we're, we're, we're doing these movements and there's a lot to think about, but we gotta focus on breathing. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds here with our front raises. Good job. Same thing, slight bend in the knees, staying balanced. Four, three, two, one, and awesome. Shake it off once again. Great job, all right? These workouts go by really, really quick. So we've got one more exercise to do. Now we're gonna do arms up to the side and we're gonna go quick, quick, quick circles here. And we're going forwards, quick, quick, quick circles. Breathe and go. Make these circles as quick as you can. Let's switch directions and we'll go the other way. Quick circles. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Great job, Perry. you're doing good. Right, I am feeling this. Four, three, two, one. One more time forwards. Go for it. Small circles. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Good I job. Need to walk that one out. I was like, I need to move or can like focus on what's burning because. All right, so here we go. So that was a great upper body workout. So I love those exercises. And of course, if you can increase the intensity or you want to make them more challenging, like with the push-ups at the beginning, go for it. So now we'll do a couple of stretches here to get just kind of like cool down. So we're going to do a neck stretch, which is really kind of really important. Your neck and shoulders sometimes get really tight, you have a lot of tension. So we'll just do left ear to left shoulder, right ear to right shoulder. Think about keeping those shoulders relaxed. Stretching is a big part of movement also. It's important to kind of just slow it down sometimes. 
and focus on stretching and elongating our muscles. Sometimes our joints get a little bit tight. And when you're doing this with your neck right now, you might hear some snapping and crackling happening. But as long as you don't feel any sharp shooting pains, that's okay. So we'll do a couple more of these. And nice, good. We'll just go into shoulder shrugs and we'll do big circles here with our shoulders. Inhale, exhale, and around. This is another good one if you find that you're, you know, sitting at your chair in your office throughout the day, you can kind of take a couple minutes to do these simple stretches. And even with just doing a couple minutes every day, so many benefits, we'll switch directions. So we were going backwards and now we'll go forwards. I always feel a little bit funny when I do this one. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll go five more seconds here four three two one and we're going to cross here cross one arm over the other you're kind of pulling at the elbow you can close your eyes if you like and just focus on breathing we're going to do about 20 30 seconds each arm so you'll feel a nice deep stretch into your shoulder for this one We'll do five more seconds here. Carrie, do you, do you do a lot of stretching? Yes, I love, love, love stretching. I find that I always like reflect when I stretch and just like am grateful for the movement that just happened. And we're gonna switch arms here. Good job. I always like focus on the body part that I'm stretching and just like show it love and gratitude because I feel like so many of us will like look in the mirror and pick apart and be harsh to our body parts, not knowing their functions and what they actually do for us. And so I just always take that moment to just thank my body for doing the thing that I just put it through kind of thing. Right. I love that. I love that. All right. We're done. So that completes our warm up, it completes our workout and the stretching. Great job, everybody. That was so quick, you guys. Again, like Phil said, if you want, you can do this workout as many times as you want. YouTube is beautiful for that. You get to watch it as many times and like repeat it. So if that wasn't enough for you today or in a month from today, then watch it again and do it three times over. But that is it for today. Thank you so much, Phil, for coming on and showing us that workout. It was amazing. Make sure that you are following Phil on Instagram and TikTok. I have linked his uh, tag below and I have also put it in the bio. So you guys can like follow him and ask him any questions that you guys have. I'm not a professional, he is. So make sure you like, send him any of the DMs and any questions that you guys have. But thanks again for coming on. I will see you next week for another episode of The Movement. Have an amazing week. I freaking love ya. Mwah.